Hello, I'm Matias Rojas, and on behalf of my collaborators, I will present to you our system proposed for the social listener shared task, which is improving detection of disease mentions in tweets by using document level features. Using contextualized embeddings created from language models trained on large corpora has enabled several NER models to obtain state-of-the-art results on datasets from different domains and languages. These results are further enhanced when these models are pre-trained on domain-specific corpora. However, in the traditional implementation, these representations are created using sentence-level context. Some studies have shown that using this approach is not always enough to obtain high-quality word representations, while document-level context allows significant improvements. On the other hand, we argue that despite the high computational cost, assembling several NER models is still a powerful approach to obtaining better results, as we will show later. So, the social listener task consists of recognizing mentions of diseases in a tweet written in Spanish and following the traditionally name entity recognition evaluation metric, we consider an entity correct when both entity boundaries and entity types are predicted correctly. So, this figure shows the third approach which was proposed in the paper Flared document level features for name entity recognition. The idea of this approach is quite simple. After tokenizing all the sentences into tokens and subtokens, the input sequence is concatenated with a window of 64 tokens from the previous sentence and 64 tokens from the following sentence, thus retrieving the document level context. Then this input is used to fine-tune a domain-specific or general domain language model in the, in the traditional token classification task. So this is the architecture used in our experiment. So we consider two important variables in preliminary experiments with the validation partition of the shared task. First, the impact of using domain-specific language models. For this purpose, we compare the performance of the proposed system using a Spanish version of BERT, which is Beto. We used a Spanish version of Roberta, a biomedical version of Roberta in Spanish, and a clinical version of Roberta in Spanish. In addition, as a simple baseline, we used a multilingual version of the XLM Roberta architecture only using sentence level context. The second approach is to ensemble all flirt based models regard regardless of their domains. For this purpose, we use a voting system, which counts the number of times an entity mentioned was identified and keeps only those that exceed a defined voting threshold. And these, these are the values, the best values found to train our models. We use the Adam optimizer with linear decay and no warm up steps. We train the models for 20 epochs using a batch size of 16 sentences and a maximum sentence length of 512 tokens. As you can see in this table, the baseline model obtained the lowest results, which can be explained since this model was trained on a general domain corpus, lacking both clinical language and enough Spanish language specialization. Here, the best results were obtained using the ensemble approach, using a threshold of two votes. This system achieved an F1 score of 0 0.884, and the model with the best results without using an ensemble was Clinical Roberta, which was expected since this is a clinical task. Therefore, we submit both models to make predictions in the test partition. So these are the results obtained by our proposed systems in the test partition. 
And here we can compare our results to the average results of the other systems submitted. The ensemble approach obtained the best performance, achieving an F1 score of 0.862. However, we can see that for each metric, both models are above average by a large margin. So, the results demonstrate that using fair document level features delivers great results independent of its simplicity, especially when using domain specific language models and the ensemble technique. And in future work, we want to incorporate other domain specific models into the ensemble architecture, such as models trained on social media to improve performance. And also, we want to study the difference between creating NER models for detecting diseases in clinical texts from real diagnosis and texts obtained from social media. So, thanks for your attention. Here's the source code to reproduce our experiments, and here is the email.